So the question is, ladies and gentlemen, if Vaclav Nenemansky can make the Hockey Hall of Fame, could Roger Rosa, Rosalainen make it one day? Well, that's the question. If you're only hearing of this name for the first time, this guy was probably the best offensive defenseman in Finnish history, men, a member of the Finnish Hockey uh, Hall of Fame, played in that much World Championship events, it would choke a duck. Every time there was a World Championships, it didn't matter what level, Canada Cup, Olympics, he was always there. Now, he was twice named Finland's top defenseman in their home league, and he also won two Stanley Cups in the NHL with that, those great Edmonton Oilers squads of the late 80s and early 90s. Now, he start, uh, started playing his, uh, his best hockey with uh, Carpot, which was the, uh, the, one of the key uh, Finnish leagues. He played with their uh, number two team for two years and their number one squad for uh, four, uh, four campaigns. Now, um, when he was promoted to uh, Division One in 1977 78, he played 30 games and posted 23 points in his first Tier One season. Now, uh, during the 1980 campaign, uh, Rosalainen and Karpot played in the SM uh, uh, Liga playoffs but were eliminated by the finals by HIFK. Carpart, however, won the bronze medal series 2 0 against a strong TPS. The 81 season proved to be a breakthrough for Rotalainen as Karpot made the finals again to Para, coming from behind in the fifth and decisive game, winning the contest 5-2. After his first championship in SM Liga, Rotalainen headed to the NHL in a much-anticipated arrival in North America. Now, he was eventually signed by the New York Rangers of the NHL in 81, where he put up some really, really key numbers. As he, uh, during his debut season, he scored 56 points in 78 games, and he was initially paired on defense with Barry Beck, but he was uh, eventually moved to forward in key uh, games. Now, Coach Horror Brooks said Rod Salainen was the best skater in the NHL, and a lot of people tend to agree. His fluid skating style helped him compensate for his lack of size, as he was 5'8", 165. Uh, he had his NHL career high in points during the 85 season, leading the Rangers in scoring with 73 points in 80 games. He played uh, in the 86 All-Star game as well. Now, Roy Salinan's contract expired after the conclusion of the 86 season, and he accepted an off offer from S.C. E. Byrne of the Swiss National Liga A. Roy Salinan played in 35 games and scored 53 points for S.C. E. Byrne before returning to the NHL. He was eventually signed by the Oilers for the remainder of the 87 season and was given a spot not on offense, which was loaded, but on defense. The Oilers then went on to win the Stanley Cup at the end of the season, and Roy Solana's name was added to the Cup for the first time. A lot of people believed he was there to give Fogel and Coffey, Huddy, the rest of the players a little bit of break on the power play like a second team, and it really uh, paid off. Now, Roy Solana decided to return to uh, Europe with HV 71 in Sweden the next year, where he scored 32 points in 40 games. After his single season in Sweden, he eventually was contacted by S.C. E. Byrne to re-sign with the squad, and he played one year more with them, scoring 46 points in 36 uh, games. Now, Rotsalan eventually returned to the NHL after a two-year absence, starting the 89-90 season with the New Jersey Devils, and he was traded to Edmonton after 31 games, uh, allowing him to win his second Stanley Cup as the owners won uh, the championship for the fifth time, the first without Wayne Gretzky. Now, Roy Salina returned to Europe and played for S.E. Byrne yet again, one of his favorite squads, in a tenure that lasted for three seasons. Roy Salina scored 38 points during his first season back in Byrne. Now, Roy Salina eventually returned to his home team, where he was contracted by Carpot in 1993, by which time had been relegated back to Division, uh, Division L1. Rod Salana played four games for Carpot, scoring six points. Then he was required by uh, SM Liga team Tapara for the remainder of the 94 campaign. He played six regular seasons with Tapara and scored uh, six points, and as well uh, three points in nine playoff games, as Tapara was eliminated by TPS in the semis. After his final season in uh, Finland, Rod Salana accepted a contract offer from SC Bern for the 95 campaign and played 19 games and had 10 points. Now he eventually returned to Finland for the 96 season 
and played for Kalpa with not eight points in 16 contests. He was then contracted mid-season for Swiss team ZSC Lions, where he played 18 games with 15 points. After a season in Zurich, he ended his career in Finland, playing for Karpat in the Finnish 1 Division A for two more seasons, scoring 31 points in 45 of 4 games during his last campaign. He ended his career in 88, and his jersey, number 10, is also retired by Karpat. Now, on the international level, I mentioned that the fact this guy never took a break at the Worlds at any level. He played the, for the Finnish junior national team from 75 to 1980 as a five-year junior, winning bronze at the European Junior Champs in the 76, and the silver at the World Juniors in 80, where he, together with New York Islanders great Thomas Johnson, were appointed best defenseman of the tournament. He played for the Finnish national team at the World Championships in 78, 79, 81, 85, and 89. He also played at the 88 Olympics, where Finland won silver, and the 81-87 Canada Cups. Now, after his career, he became a coach, most notably with the Miami Matadors of the ECHL during their only season in 89. Like I said, a member of the Finnish Ice Hockey Hall of Fame well-deserved. Now, awards and achievements, 80-81 SM Liga, Canada Maja for Carapot, 87 Stanley Cup champion for Edmonton, 89 Swiss League champion for SC Bern, 1990 Stanley Cup champion for Edmonton, 91-92 Swiss League champions for SC Bern for those back-to-back -back campaigns for the, the third title. And uh, we've talked about this before. In the 2009 book, 100 Ranger Greats, he was ranked number 82 all-time of the 901 Rangers who played during the team's first 82 seasons. Now, for many people, his best campaign, because he was just knocking off records left and right, of course, was that 1985 season where he had uh, 28 goals and 73 points in 80 games and split time on defense and offense. But like I said, those numbers on the internationally were quite strong as well. With the NDL League, he had 207 points in 210 games, 43 points in 43 playoff contests. In SM1, he had 138 in 152, including 21 points in 27 playoffs. And the NHL totals 446 games, 344 points, 107 goals in the regular season, 86 playoff games, 47 points and 15 goals in the playoffs. Now internationally, again, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 85, 87, 88, and 89. Junior totals 25 points in 29 junior uh, championships, including uh, the World Juniors and the European Championships. And of course, in that 79 year, he played, uh, 78 and 79 year, and uh, he played at the World Juniors and at the World Championships doing the double double. Uh, 81, he played at the World Championships and the Canada Cup. And uh, on the senior level, which includes Canada Cup, 26 points in uh, uh, 81. Uh, 61 games, so 90 international games for Finland at, you know, the major championships, 23 goals, 28 assists, 51 points, and 34 minutes and penalties. Now, uh, of course, in 1980, he won the Director of the Award for Best Defenseman at the 1980 Worlds. Now, what a lot of people uh, forget, ladies and gentlemen, in the late 1970s, Finland was sort of like the odd man out of the, what he called the Big Six, you know, Sweden, uh, States, Czechoslovakia, Russia, Canada, you know, uh, you would always get sixth place or fifth place. When he arrived and Yuri Curry arrived, Finland started to improve. And of course, uh, later on at the World Juniors, where Finland won the championships because of the Piestani incident where Russia and Canada were fighting, that's when he hit that big level. And he was the architect of the new Finnish uh, world dominance on hockey. Finland is always in the medals now because of players like uh, Ruotsalainen do it that that broke through and put that foundation of success. So that's the story of Roger uh, Ruotsalainen. We thank you for listening. Again, this was a request from our good buddy Travis Cook. And if you have a chance, uh, his hockey cards are very valuable uh, in Europe. So if you ever go on e eBay and you see that his cards are true to roof. Uh, because he's that popular. He's been called the Paul Coffey of Finland by many. And that's more than a compliment. That could be, for a lot of people, the reality because he was just that good.
Thanks for listening. Bye.